Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antec HCG 620M 620 watt power supply. The box has your typical Antec theme, black and yellow, looks quite nice. Lots of pictures and information about the product all around the box and look at this. The box is actually wrapped in plastic, so you know it has never been opened before. Now let's go ahead and remove this plastic and have a closer look at the power supply. Product overview, remember you can download the full manual at antech.com slash manuals. They include a power cord, Four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a bag full of modular leads, and the power supply, which is in all this cardboard to protect it, and also a fancy Antec bag. Now, let's have a closer look at this product. The HCGM, or High Current Gamer Modular Series of Power Supplies, are currently available in a number of wattages, 400, 520, and 620. I'll be reviewing the 620 watt model. Now what separates this power supply from most is its continuous power and the high current hybrid cable management, which by the way uses special 10 pin and 5 pin modular connectors for the high current rail. Now keep in mind that the 620 watt model offers 620 watts of continuous power at 50 degrees Celsius and can do it 100% of the time, which is unlike most other power supplies in this class. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand this, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 130 watts and the 12 volt is 576 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are both 24 amps each. And it comes with a single plus 12 volt rail, which is 48 amps. Now there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. So this power supply will be perfect for that. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1,000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is up to 87%. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC, APFC or active power factor correction, assist the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD+, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply meets 80 plus bronze requirements. Sixth, 
Look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. This power supply uses Japanese brand capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Also, it's very important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this power supply comes with a five year warranty. Now let's have a closer look at the power supply. It comes with a black red paint theme. The housing is steel. They include a quiet 135 millimeter double ball bearing cooling fan with a recessed fan grill so it will fit in just about any case that's currently on the market even the small ones. This fan and the many ventilation holes right here ensures that the inside of the power supply will remain cool in almost any environment. Note the power cord connection and the power switch. Now all the leads on this power supply are sleeved and most of them are modular except for the main motherboard leads which are hardwired into the power supply. Modular leads are brilliant because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup and this reduces the cable mess inside of the case and thus increases airflow inside the case. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. You'll be very hard pressed to find a power supply that has this kind of quality, continuous power at an affordable price in this class. Now remember, it also comes with a quiet 135 millimeter fan. All of the leads are sleeved and most of them are modular. Overall, all things considered, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.